those of you that do recordings. So record is hit and we're gonna go ahead and start down on our backs. I'm gonna start with a lot of glute work today. So come on down to your back. When you come down, give yourself a nice big hug. This is kind of a nice place to start. Uh, if you've got a ponytail in your hair like I do, and if it bothers you, feel free to take it out. You can always put it back in later. Ah, so just a couple of breaths here. Just enjoy the stretch for a moment. And then we'll bring our feet down to the ground. Coming into neutral spine. I'm just taking a moment here to get started. So neutral spine, you have a little space kind of in your low back. Your hands kind of slide into your low back. We're going to take that neutral spine out. We're going to pull the belly button into the spine. As we pull the belly button into the spine, it kind of flattens. Squeeze the glutes. So right here, before we even lift, we pull the belly to the spine. We have flat space on our back. My glutes are squeezed. They're already starting to burn. And then I'm going to start to lift and lower. So each time I come down, my low back is going to touch. My glutes aren't going to quite touch. They're going to kind of just be lightly above the ground because I'm going to keep them squeezed. So the more you keep your glutes squeezed, the more you'll get this nice gooey burn. You got it. Welcome, Ellen. Welcome, Linda T. Welcome, Allie. Who else is coming in? I'm just coming right into these glute bridges, lift and lower, but keep the glute squeeze the whole time. Welcome, Vanessa. Here comes Darlene. So we're in, we're going to be on our glutes here for about eight minutes. We did quite a few different moves. Right here, it's just lift and lower. So we'll do the leg stuff, the glute stuff more kind of at the beginning of the class. We'll do more kind of ab second half. So those of you doing lower body express, right? You get that little break from the glutes and legs before we go into lower body express where we'll get more of that in there. Welcome, Alicia. Welcome, Sarah. So we're doing glute bridges, Sarah. I know laying on the back is probably not real good for you to so take some squats. Do some squats, some lunges. You got it right here. A couple of more, and we're going to hold it up there. Three, two, and one. So hold the glutes up here. So what you can do, Sarah, is hold down low in a low squat. We're going to take our knees, squeeze them together, and let them come apart. So if I face you, right, they stay right here at my hips. Squeeze and open. And you can do this in that squatted position. Anyone can. But Sarah is. Getting pretty close, right? Sarah, I'm not sure how much longer you have till, till baby is due. Squeeze and open. Welcome, Jen. Welcome, Jennifer. Welcome, Gretchen. Keep going right there. So it's that little bitty movement of squeezing those inner thighs together and letting them open. Squeeze and open. Try to keep the glutes lifted. All oh, I got to come up and look at Allie's little cutie. Hi, cute friend. Oh, she's so precious. Keep going right there. A couple of more. A little more. Now bring those inner thighs in towards each other. Squeeze them in and walk the feet in. So we're trying to get our feet to touch and our inner thighs to touch. And we're going to pulse right here. So again, on those squats, you can be pulsing the squats. Oh, you're doing great, Sarah, down on the ground. Look at you. I'm like, oh, you probably need to be standing. She's like, I got this. I got this. You look amazing. Awesome. So try to hold up high, little pulses as you're squeezing your inner thighs together. So there you are feeling from your hip bones down, right? You are feeling it all. Nice. Keep pulsing out. We're about halfway through our glute bridge business. Couple of more here. And then we're gonna go to the circle. So we're gonna squeeze up, come over to the right and down and up to the left. Really, it doesn't matter which way you're circling. I said one thing, but I went the other way. We're going to go both ways. So big circles here. Trying to keep our feet close together. It's okay. Mine aren't touching 100%, but everything's pretty squeezed in. You got it. Ooh. Nice. Keep going. Circle it out. 10 more seconds this direction. Three, two, one. Reverse the direction of your circle. 
reverse the direction of your circle. It is burning, my friends. There's like been no release whatsoever. You got it. Awesome, Megan. Looks great, Sarah. Awesome, Allie. Lindsay T. Ellen, some of you are just below my screen, but I know you're working. I know Lindsay. Lindsay is like cursing at me right now, trainer Lindsay, because we rode, we did cycling this morning, and my booty was already burning. All right, here we go. We're gonna hold it up. Flex your feet so you're resting on your heels. We're gonna step out, out, in, in, switch the leg that goes first. Out, out, in, in, alternating which leg switches in first. Now the whole time I'm trying to squeeze my booty up as high as I can. You got it, my friends. We're just about two minutes out from being done with all this booty business right here, at least for a moment. Out, out, in, in. Just switching which foot comes first, feet are flexed, so I'm tapping out on my heel. The farther you, you step out, the more work that's gonna be. Hang on to it. 10 seconds right here. And then we're gonna end with some side kind of pulses each way. Three, two, and one. You can take your feet back flat on the ground. We're gonna lower our glutes just for a second and then we're gonna pulse up to the right, back center and up to the right. So I'm coming center and squeezing right hip up. Squeeze. So this is really gonna come into the side of the glute right here. You're gonna feel it right under the glutus minimus and medius, right on the side. We're gonna go right for about 30 seconds, left for about 30 seconds coming up. Hang on. 10 more right here. Welcome, Terry. Welcome, Anne Marie. It is a booty burn. Three, two, and one. Now take it, squeeze it up over to the left. So we drop center into the left. My booty's not touching the ground, right? It's just, it's like a swing. Swing it up to the left and center. Up to the left and center. Right there, we're almost there, 20 seconds. 20 seconds, you get a knee hug. Hang on to it. 10 to go. Squeeze. Ah, it burns, I'm cursing myself. Three, two, and one, release. Pull those knees into your chest. Hang out right here for about 20 seconds. Ooh, ah, booty burn, booty burn. Now we're gonna move, move a little more into the abs here for a few moves. Ah, bring those legs up into tabletop. So knees over hips, ankles kind of in alignment with your knees, navel pulls in, arms rise up. We're gonna start with single side or alternating side bird dog. So left leg and right arm extend and pulls back center. And then we take the other side. So I know in some classes, some of our strength classes, we do this move with weight, right? We're gonna be doing it a little bit longer. And we're also gonna take the option to go both arms and both legs. So you're not gonna miss the weights in about 20 seconds. We're gonna be going, that's fine, I don't need weights. So we're gonna just kind of build up through here coming into some suitcase crunches and then eventually V ups. So nice and controlled, starting to feel it. Now you can stay here on the single side or we'll take both arms, both legs, reach them out and come in, reach them out and come in right there. So you can always stay single side or we're going double. You got it, perfect. So each time we bump up, you can always stay with that single side because we're gonna just kind of keep bumping up here. So if you wanna bump it up more, when we come in, we're actually gonna bring the arms out to the side, lift the upper back and squeeze the knees into the forehead and then open it back out, arms swoop out and overhead. Squeeze the knees to the forehead and then arms swoop out back and up overhead. So now we're kind of doing what I like to call the suitcase crunch. 
but it's a double leg, double leg pull squeeze. Now you could keep the head on the ground if the neck bothers you. You could just keep the head resting on the ground. Takes a little bit of work out of the abs, but not a lot. And then last bump up is coming. So you can stay here or we're gonna come up into our V up. So straight arms up and down, up and down. So this is kind of that last little bump up to come up into a Pilates teaser or you're probably often hear it called a V up. This is it. So wherever you are, about 10 seconds, full V up. Oh, that looks so graceful, Ellen. Beautiful, awesome, Lindsay. You got it, Megan, Allie. Sarah, you are rocking it out. I love it. I love it. I love it. Three, two, and one. Quick knee hug. Oh, just a little bit of release. All right, we get a little bit more work before we come into our break. This is where we're going to go to all of our leg raise business. So right or left foot's going to plant on the ground. Left knee's bent. Straighten the right leg out. Thumbs can be under your glutes or arms can be at your side. Point up, flex down. Point and flex. So not too bad here, right? You're going to have those options to take it up. So you can stay right here with left knee bent. Or you can take left leg and extend it long, but it rests on the ground. Notice that difference. And then if you want a little bit more, right, we hover the left leg. So left leg will hover above the ground. So at any time you can change what the left leg is doing. You can rest on the ground, knee can be bent, or it can hover. What I sometimes do is I let my left big toe rest gently on my little bench that I have here. So it gives me that tiny bit of support. So if you had something that you could kind of rest your big toe on, that's a little bit of a shift between floor and hovering. Nice, couple of more. And now we're gonna raise the foot of, or the leg about halfway, so not as high as we were, halfway. Point your toe, draw me a circle about the size of like a coffee cup, one direction. So it's not a huge circle today. Little circle, one direction, good. Keep going right there. Nice. Awesome, Darlene. Looks great, Jen, Alicia. Nice, Sarah D. Cam, good. Three, two, circle the other direction. Circle the other direction. Anytime, right? You can always bend that left knee, straighten that left knee, hover that left leg. We got one more move on this side. We're going to make our L and then end with some pulses. So here we go, we're gonna go up and out to the side. Up and out to the side. So we are getting our core, right? But we're still really getting a lot of leg work here. First half of class does have a lot of leg work. Second half will back off the legs a little bit. Core for all of it. So you're making your L. Nice, couple of more, and then we'll finish with our pulses. Two and one, pulse close. So the leg is extended right out from your hip. A pulse, if your knee was bent, right, would be pulsing from kind of like ankle just below knee. So it's just a little, maybe five, six inches perhaps. Straight leg pulsing, you're gonna feel that right in your quad. And then depending on what's going on with your left leg, more in your arms, three, two, one. Take it out like you would for your L and pulse it out right here. Don't let the leg open. Don't let the knee turn out. Knee is facing up. So when the knee turns out, the inner thigh gets to kind of take over a little bit. Keep that knee facing right up. You're almost here. We get a fresh leg coming up, five seconds. Good. Three, two, one. Right knee bends. Left leg, point up, flex down. So our break is gonna come a little bit past halfway today, but you will get a break after this leg and grab a drink and kind of take a minute to stretch. 
and then we're going to focus even more into the abdominal region, um, our major abs, our obliques, rectus abdominis. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. And your um, your lower underneath abs. <laughs> My brain is not working today. Uh, your transverse abdominis. I knew the words, they just weren't coming out. Point and flex, a few more. We did a lot of these. Remember your options on your right leg, right knee bent, extended long, hovering. I tend to extend, but leave it on the floor. Thumbs under low back if you need a little support there. And then take it about halfway up, point your toe, draw circles, one direction. So your circle is kind of about the size of like the, the top of a coffee cup. It's a pretty small circle. Nice. <laughs> I love it, Allie. You make the best jungle gym. Welcome, Kelsey. Shout out Vanessa, Terry, Gretchen, Teresa, Anne Marie, Kelsey. Y'all all deserve a shout out. I cannot see you, but you definitely deserve a little shout out. There you are, Lindsay. I can see her leg moving. I was just fixing to say, Lindsay, are you taking a break down there? She's still moving. Circle the other direction. See, that's the good thing about teaching this class is I, I get to stop. I get to stop and make sure you all are doing it correctly. Um, that's my excuse anyway. We got it. So we're circling the other way. Hang on. It's tough, but we're close. And then here comes our L. So up and to the side. I went ahead and just bent my right knee. Right? It doesn't make it a lot easier, but it makes it a little bit. Challenge yourself, but we do want to get through it. So modify, don't quit. Nice, Megan. We got it, Cam. Nice, Ellen. Hang on, a few more on these L's. Three, two, and one. Pulse close, right? So with your right knee, if your right knee is bent, you're going from kind of like bottom of the calf to the top of the calf. That's how big the pulse is. Now, if your leg is straight, you just kind of have to imagine that. Ah, woo. I'm with you, my friends. You're on mute, so I can't hear the words coming out of your mouth, but oh, I can hear the ones in my own head. All right, take it out to the side, pulse it out, pulse it out in that L position, so a little bit out to the side, this is it, 10 seconds. Nice. Oh, so close. You got it, awesome, Darlene. Three, two, and one. Give yourself a hug. Oh, and then take your time. If you wanna take a little, a, you know, a little quad stretch here, just rolling onto one side, even just for 10 seconds. Just a little release. We get a little quad stretch on the other side. And then grab some water. We are going to be coming back down to our back again, but focusing more on the abdominal area. And I'm sorry, Sarah, I have you on your back like a ton today. If that gets uncomfortable at any point, you know that you can come up and do some squats or some plank work. <coughs> a lot of back work today, but we will end. We'll end kind of in an all four plank position coming up. So about five-ish more minutes on our back. So come on down. We're going to start with our reverse crunches. So taking your thumbs or even your whole hands right under your low back, feet to the ceiling. Flex the feet and try to lift and put footprints on the ceiling. Now, if you're like, oh, this is just, this isn't working for me, Sherry, this is tough. You do have some options. You could come into a seated position and you could reach her opposite leg here. You could stand up and do this. It's a little bit different. It's going to be a little bit different move but you're still getting some ab work. And then you can also always just sub some squats, some lunges. I mean, there's, those are just always fabulous. You got it right here, a few more. Three, two, one. 
Now we're gonna bring the left leg down, either the knee bends or straighten, and we're gonna climb the tree. So hands are gonna come onto the right hamstring, and we're gonna climb, 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 and lower down. So maybe I'm just curling up so my bra line comes up off the ground. Maybe I can climb all the way up. Oh, I made it all the way up to seated. Or maybe I'm in this seated position, right? And I'm climbing here and here, here and here. So you can stay in seated as well. All right, keep climbing. Climb this right leg a few more times and down, up. And I'm not going all the way to seated. I, you know, I did it once to prove that I could. Uh, one more time, climb the right leg. This is called climb the tree. And down, switch it out. Another leg, climb the tree. Uh, and down, lift and down. So again, remember I could work to climb all the way up so I hold back off the ground. Yeah, love it, Sarah, perfect. I can also do it in a seated position, right? I never have to come all the way down to my back. I can climb here, up and down, squeeze. So you have those options. Give me three more, three more on this side. Nice. You got it, one more. Then we're gonna come into our oblique crunch. So standing, you can take like that side to that elbow or on the ground, knees to the right, chest up, crunch. I'm gonna give you some options here. So this is one option to work the obliques. Hands behind head. If this does not work for you, you can come onto your side and you can take knee to elbow crunch here and you can do knee to elbow crunch in a stand position also. So you've got kind of three options here. Or we're crunching chest, chin to ceiling, but because the knees are to the right, we'll fill up crunch in the left side. Squeeze. It doesn't need to be fast. It's like squeeze and hold. Squeeze and hold. Good. Few more, about 10 more seconds this side. We'll flip to the other side. And then we'll be we're getting close to kind of changing up. Nice. Three, two, and one. So knees come to the left, right chest faces the ceiling, crunching here. Or we can take knee to elbow here or standing. You got it. And then we'll be finishing up in a moment with a little bit of all fours, maybe a plank at the end if we have time. But first, you got 10 seconds right here. Four, three, two, one. Ah, oh. so I've had you down on your back the whole time almost. We're going to go ahead and come up to all fours. This is where we'll take, you can really do either side, but we'll take right leg, left arm, reach long. I want you to think about reaching fingers from toes as far as you can. The belly starts to pull to the spine first and knee and elbow crunches in into as tight as a ball as you can and then lengthen back out. Crunch and lengthen. So we get a little bit more upper body work here as our right arm is doing a lot of the work to stabilize us. And then of course, we're really, really working those abs today. Yeah, awesome, that is beautiful, Megan. Nice deep ball. You got it, good, Jen. You got it, Lindsay. Nice, everybody looks fabulous. Linda T, of, the, of those that, you, that I can see. If I can't see you, you look fabulous, right? Nobody's over there just having ice cream and cookies, are you? <laughs> We're all working. Two more of these. We're going to take it out to the side. Two and one. Now we're going to lengthen long, pull the belly to the spine, take arm and leg to the side. 
ah, and come back to center. Now you will get a little leg work, a little more booty work here. I know, I'm sorry, but you're getting a lot of arm work, your stabilizing arm and your core. You got it right there. Yeah, and you are, you are pushing that envelope, right? So to say of how far I can lengthen to the side, I'm gonna go as far as I think I can, and then I'm gonna try to go another fourth of an inch. Good. Two more, and then we just got one more side. And you might be in luck. We may not have time for a plank. Good. And then come on down, Ooh, wiggle it out, shake your tail, and we'll take that through the other side. Reach long, belly pull to spine, so your, your low back is flat, it's not arched. Crunch, squeeze in, and reach long. Squeeze in, and reach long. You got it. Excellent, Sarah. Yeah, this probably feels better than being on your back. Nice. Good, Darlene. You got it, my friends. And then, yes, if you want to come back, lower body express. We will be, for the most part, we'll be standing. There's one move we'll do where you have the option to put your hands on the ground, but there's also an option where your hands stay up. Get some more booty and leg burn. Two more here. I'm just kind of roughly going by the clock. Nice. And then we're going to take that out to the side. So arm and leg out to the side, reach, 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 and come center. So as you come to the side, right, don't think about just opening to the side. Think about reaching the toes and the hand away from each other. You're making those like really long line. Good. Hang on, my friends. You are so close. You've got about 20 seconds here. And that'll give us about two and a half minutes to stretch. So I won't make you do a plank. If you really want to plank, you can do it after class. I will give you the two and a half minutes to stretch. You got it, 10 seconds to go right here. Three, two, and one. Child's pose or puppy. So puppy would be where bottom stays in the air, whichever one sounds best to you. Hmm. We didn't do a lot of arms, but we did a lot of core. And then that little added, added leg or booty is part of the core. You really kind of focus shoulders to short today and then into the hands and quads a bit. Come on up. A couple of cat cows. Uh, take your time, enjoy it, feel the stretch. You don't have to move with your breath, just kind of hold and then move. I tend to do kind of similar stretches in this class because I just want to get the front of the body, the back of the body. And this kind of works through the back of the torso and the front of the torso. And then we can come up onto our knees and take our camel. And we'll get a little deeper through the torso. You can reach for your feet if you want, but just enjoy the stretch here. You don't have to. Think about lengthening the spine in the front. Let's stretch down through the hip flexors from all of our quad lifting work. And then pull the belly in to rise up and plant the hands down. Press back into a down dog. Walk out your heels, little calf stretch. If you don't like being upside down, you can press off a wall to do this. Nice. And then we'll just walk our feet towards our hands. Lift the chest halfway. Pull the shoulder blades down the back. And then if you like, lower the chest down for a little deeper stretch through the hamstrings. If you're not feeling, if your heart rate isn't up, you can let your head fall. But if you feel like your heart rate's up a little bit, it doesn't get super high in that Pilates. But if it's up there a little bit, just keep the head lifted. And then we'll bend the knees, lift the chest a little more, bring the hands onto the quads and roll up. 
Uh, so you come up nice and safely. And we are out of time. Actually, we have one second. Uh, thank you all so much for joining me. So I will see you back. I'm going to log us out and I'll log back in in about one minute if you want to come back to Lower Body Express. Otherwise, have a great day. I'll see you very soon. Thank you all. Whew, my legs are burning, burning, burning.